Welcome back to this episode, everyone. In this one, we're going to be putting together the engineering hull, but with some modifications. Welcome back everyone. Okay, so we're going to be doing the uh, construction of the engineering hull here. Uh, I just painted these just to let some paint there dry. <clears throat> I'm going to work on putting these together and getting them installed here. Um, now, the modification I was talking about is, you can see what I did here with the Excelsior, is I added this uh, bridge section here. It goes down. I'm going to do the same thing for the Enterprise B, but I'm just going to modify it just a little bit more than what you see there. So that's what I'm going to do. Do a test fit. Some drain reading it's warped. There we go. <clears throat> that popping out of there. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not going to worry about painting this section just yet. <clears throat> That's just going to help keep it together while I work on it. All right, <clears throat> so let's get this in here. I need this in place here so I can get the proper dimensions that I need. Eventually though, I'm gonna be putting a hole in here for the uh, wiring to go through. All right. Now, the uh, <clears throat> reasoning for the modification for me, it's just personal preference. Because I'm going to have a piece that comes down here and goes all the way up to here. Basically the same what you saw in the Excelsior. Um, but I'm going to have it come out just a little bit further, just under the impulse engines, then start angling down towards the back here. 
All right, I'm gonna drill a hole down here for the wiring. I need this in place here just so I can see what I need to do. So with that in place like that, see I'm going to have it come out to just underneath the, the bottom of the impulse deck there, then I'm going to start angling down. Looks good, alright. Alright, so I glued this in place there, got to let it dry before I can do anything more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing some measuring here to get the design I want. So let's get this started here. And get the plastic here. Now. I got this fancy little thing here so I get the proper angle of the neck. So the neck is at 56 degrees. I need to make it... Uh... Eight and a half inches long. Or centimeters. So I'm going to start with the height here as well. One and a half centimeters high. I need to figure out next is how far out. That's five, six. Seven centimeters. Okay. I got it coming down, so it's going to be slanting down from here down to here. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put it at uh, from the edge there. About eight and a half centimeters. So I need to go
No, it's got to be longer. It's just not long enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to go, uh, let's see, nine and a half centimeters. That should be more than enough. Just double checking here. You know what? I'm going to go full on 10. Ten centimeters, okay. So that should be all right. I'm just going to try it, cut it out, and do a test fit. All right, now I put little marks on there because you see that it's the uh, the neck here is ridged. So I'm going to cut ridges into these here as well. All right, so I got my ruler here. And I got this fancy little tool here. I'll line it up with the little uh, mark there. Provided I can keep the ruler steady. Just like that. There we go. Look good. All right, let's get them placed in. Now I hot glued it as well to uh, really make sure it's going to stay in place. Now I put this down here just temporarily so I can make the, the top cap here because it needs to go from here all the way down and wrap around this area here. So that's what I got to do next. There you go. Looks good. Uh, I can't put it on there just yet until I get the, the engineering and all that stuff here connected. And then I'll put that on top. That looks pretty good. So I guess you could say this is an Enterprise B variant. All right, now for this here, I need to drill holes here for the wiring to go through. So let's see, uh, this is the starboard engine. So what I need to do here is I need to notch the part of this out for the wiring to fit down into.
Okay, so it looks uh, like that. There you go. So it goes right there, there, like that. Okay. Let's get this glued in place. Okay, got the wiring all in place there. Now I just need to put the top cap on. There we go. All tied in there now. Just gotta let that dry before I can do any more work on it. Uh, so I'm gonna tie these wires together, the, the reds and the blacks together, and then they'd be ready to tie in to the engineering, top of the engineering hall there. <laughs> Figures it snap off. Good thing I got more than enough wire. That's why it always pays to have too much than not enough. Okay, that's not gonna work there. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna start putting this on here now. Gonna do a quick test fit. Make sure it's gonna work okay. Wow, that looks um mighty fine. All right, that's good. Good. Okay, it looks good. Got it all glued in there. I got the uh, the engines tied into the main lines there, and inside there I got the uh, heat glued, so this thing isn't going to pop off. And then I got uh, glue along the edges down in here, and I smoothened it out on both sides. Got to let that dry, then I can paint this uh, a gunmetal, which is what color that is. And that'll be done for that. Um, once that's painted the gun metal, then I can put the t cap on. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put the cap on. And then uh, that will take care of all that. All right, so I'm gonna let that uh, dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna put the plastic pieces in here to the engine cowling for the impulse engines. Now just glue around the outside there. Now I've got the uh, cowling here on uh, the lower half of the main impulse engines. Now I got uh, little lips here. I got to cut most of that out of there. Otherwise, you're not going to see the uh, the red of the impulse engine. I got I left little lips there to be able to still hold the uh, fin slice of the impulse manifold here. So just on here. Okay. Little dabs of glue, not very much. Now this goes here, like that. Very nice. There we go. Looks good. Now... I'm not going to stick these ones on just yet until I get the, the top and the bottom half of the sausage section together. And then I'll add those on afterwards. Okay, I got it all glued in place there. And you can see there's a little bit of an overhang here, but that's no big deal. I'll just uh, shave that down so it's level or flat with the rest of the body there. Looks good. Just got to let that dry now. All right, looks good. <clears throat> Got that painted there. That looks nice. It's smoothened in real good. Looks awesome. Now I'm going to worry. Uh, work on the uh, lighting of these areas here with the fiber optic lines. I'm going to be using 0.10 mil fiber optics. Now I'm going to drill a tiny little hole right in the center here, and the optic lines will go right through here, and it'll go come out here somewhere to a light uh, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put the light just yet all right so I drilled a tiny little hole there I'm just gonna hopefully I don't have to make it too much larger I want to keep it as tiny as I can Maybe I'll be able to get all of those lines in there. Well, we'll find out here. Uh, 
I got a lot of fiber optics from an old, old, old model I took apart. Maybe I'll probably put the light right on the corner here and then have the fiber optic lines go right to it. It's not like these lines are too short. That's plenty long enough. Just need two more lines. Something to grip it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Just gotta put uh, a white light, I'm thinking right over here, run the lines right up to it. I got a three mil white here. in the way some of those windows unless I have them flip around and go towards the back here maybe so maybe put it like right here and then have them run towards the back yeah okay I will need shrink and a uh, smaller, thinner heat shrink. be a guide for the fiber optic lines to the white LED. Okay. And there we go. Looks good. Works fine. Let's do a quick light test. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, they are lighting up. They all light up. They're okay. Uh, it's just, I'm still using a 3 volt power supply. They'll be a lot brighter than that. It looks good. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next episode, we're going to start assembling the rest of the ship. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. Also, check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. 
and my online store. The link is down below. I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.